I'm here with Ishai Shaggy at the New Zealand SharePoint conference. And Ishai, what's the one thing that people need to know about SharePoint 2010? Uh, well, there's plenty of things that people need to know, uh, and it depends what kind of person you are. Um, I have my passion, well, two passions, I guess it's uh, web parts and uh, event handlers and uh, you know, time of jobs, uh, things that I talked about in those two conferences, one in the last week in Melbourne, uh, we talked about uh, time of jobs and uh, event handlers, things that happen behind the scenes, and us developers can enhance what SharePoint can do out of the box just by developing a bit of code and the users never know about it and it makes their life easier without them realizing. And uh, what I'm talking about here in, in this conference is a uh, web part, so we're really enhancing the user interface uh, of SharePoint and, and showing users more information uh, in more ways, in the richer ways, and uh, giving them more flexibility to do more with the product they bought and implemented. So what kind of examples did you use in your presentation? Oh, um, the event handlers were very interesting. I, I gave the example of a, a task that I want to assign to someone, but I want only that person to see that task and not other people who, who can see the task list. So an event handler that when a task gets uh, created, uh, it immediately strips all permissions and, give, and grants permissions only to the person in the assigned to field and to the person who created the, uh, the task. Uh, I actually have that uh, uh, posted on my, on my blog, sharepoint-tips.com, uh, where you can see uh, the entire uh, source code, it's, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, a, t a timer job, I, I did another event handler that sets uh, document titles, so, so checks if the title is empty, then immediately grab the file name and put that in the title field, which makes it easier for web parts to, uh, that rely on the title field to show documents. And I also display, uh, show demoed a timer job that uh, makes sure that, uh, uh, that titles are, are populated and uh, if something got missed or... Um, so it, it goes every now and then, like once a day, it goes over all the documents, all the document libraries, looks for uh, libraries with uh, empty, uh, empty titled documents and, and then fixes that. So uh, these are two examples that I gave for those. Here in, uh, in the web parts, in, uh, in New Zealand, I, I uh, did a web parts presentation where I did all kind of things from uh, web parts that uh, um, grab information from the server uh, using Ajax and uh, uh, that allow users to change uh, web part properties using custom user interface and not the built-in uh, interface that SharePoint generates automatically.